guys. Welcome to one of Mrs. Smith's favorite stories that we read all, all year. This one is called A Pig in a Wig. And um, it's very silly. So we're going to be going over our high frequency words today. And um, we will then complete the pages that you printed from your lesson scans. Let's go. Pig in a wig. Chant the words one time as they appear. Ready? Take. Up. And. Now we have a sentence. So what I'd like you to do is to read the sentence and then try to think of which word fits in there. Is it take, up, or and? So pause me now so you can read the sentence. Use the picture to help you. I see a b ig p ig blank a little pig. Okay, so let's see. I see a big pig take a little pig. It could be, but that's not really taking, you know, we kind of taking is like a movement. Um, I see a big pig up a little pig. That's strange. How about and a little pig? Now read this sentence oh. and try to fill in the correct word. The p Ig, w, ill, blank, a, nap, nap. The pig will blank a nap. I think he will take a nap. Very sweet. Okay, go ahead and read the sentence. The little pig can st and. So here's one of the ways that I solve this problem, uh, this problem, as I read this word, is I would take my finger and I would cover up the word and in that, A-N-D, and I'd read the first sound, which is st. Then I'd cover up st, and I'd read and, and then I'd put it together, st, and, stand, up. Look at the word carefully as it flashes on the screen, and then we will spell it together. Up, U, P. Take, T, A, K, E. Don't forget that E at the end. And, and, A, N, D. You did it! Good job, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to pause you so I can go to the next screen. When I come back, it'll be magically ready with our pages. Ta-da! Okay, so make sure you have a pencil. And this is, um, this is the page that has the boy and the kitties. It is not the page that looks like this which has um, playing Frisbee and the picture. Okay. So if we remember our strategy for this, I'm hoping you remember some of it, but I'm going to keep going over it the next few times. That way we continue with our strategy. The first thing I want to do is I want to look at my word box and read my, option, my options. Up. Take. Sh e. She. And what, what, what. Then what I know I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in one of these words to each one of these sentences. I want to choose the best word and I cross it off as I use it. I don't know if I said this last week, but what happens if I get stumped? If I get stumped or there's two words that it could be and I'm not sure which is the best one, the way that I handle that is I skip that one, try to finish the rest of them and then come back. Generally, I can find the best answer then. 
Okay. Okay. So number one, my cat is blank. Well, this is a very silly cat. Looks like he is what? He's on a roof. So if your cat is on a roof, that means that they're probably high in the sky, which means, which is the word that means to be high? Uh, probably this word. The word up. Okay. So for the next three, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the sentence to you. You can also skip me right now and read them yourself. I would love that if you don't need me. But if you do need me, I'm going to read them to you. And then I'm going to fill in the answers after you've had a chance to fill in your own. Okay, so let's continue forth. You can blank two, one, two. You can she two. No. You can what two. No. It must be t ache. You can take two. Blank has a pack. P ack. Ah, I can see that it is a girl. So what is probably the term that means girl? She. Why did I make this a capital S? Because it's the beginning of a sentence. You got it. And then the last one has to be the last word, which is what? Again, a capital letter. Can Nan fix? Oh, what can Nan fix? Bicycles. That would be helpful. I actually need a little help with my bicycle recently. Okay, so um, now we're going to continue on. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go through each one of these. I'm not going to read it to you. I want you to try it on your own. This is what we would do in class two. If you get stumped, move on. Try to the next one, and so you should pause me now so that you can do that, including number five at the bottom. I want you to try to read the instructions. If, again, if you struggle with any of them, move on, try the next one. Even if you're looking at me right now and you're looking at my camera and you're thinking to yourself, I don't know if I can do any of these. Well, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I would say in the classroom. We can't learn unless we try. And so what we are going to do now is we are going to try. We're going to try to fill them in. We're going to look at the pictures. We're going to look at the word options. And we're going to try to fill in the sentences. Now, if you come across one where you're not sure if it's either one, um, it's two different words it could be, skip it, go to the next one. The extra word that they added for this one is the word play. So make sure that play fits in there as well. Okay, pause me now and do some hard work. And then when you come back in just a few seconds, when you know, when you come back to me in a few minutes after you've worked, then I want you to check your work. Okay. Ta-da! Back. Okay. So for number two, we had, if I looked at the picture, it was a picture of a poodle and the person who owns the poodle. And she's suggesting that they look at you and me. If I look at this picture, I can see that the two cats and the boy are going up. We go up. And then lastly, I see that she's handing this apple to a very happy horsey. And so she's saying, you can take this. Now, down here at the bottom, I drew me and you, and we are playing ball at recess because it asks us to draw two friends at play. And so I drew two friends at play. It's you and me. All right, I hope you've enjoyed. See you soon.